The third party logistics also known as 3PL deals with the scenario when your company has outsourced its warehousing activities to an external vendor or warehouse provider. <coughs> Excuse me. In case of a non 3PL site, the company is in control for the entire layout, the warehousing as well as the logistics activities within its site. Whereas in the 3PL scenario, though the site and the inventory in the site is owned by the company itself, the warehousing and logistics functionality is owned and carried out by the external 3PL provider. With the 3PL functionality in Business by Design, it is possible to connect the system to an external system of the 3PL provider. Setup wise, on the Business by Design site, a 3PL site must be marked as an externally managed warehouse. This is a very specific setting and has to be done at the time of creation itself. Because once inventory is booked on a site, it cannot be changed to an externally managed site. The third party logistics provider is also modeled as a business partner and with a role warehouse provider in the system. A communication arrangement must be set up which will help in the exchange of messages electronically between the business by design system and the 3PL provider system. These are B2B messages that is business to business interfaces following the UN or EDIFACT standard. Note that in the absence of or failure of automatic communication may be due to some unforeseen circumstances, systems going down, a manual option is available to create the inbound and outbound delivery. At the third party logistics provider side, the mapping of the interfaces used for the message communication must be taken care of by the warehouse provider. Let us look at it from the execution perspective. Business by design keeps the full sales, purchasing and fulfillment process with it, including the invoicing, whereas the warehouse execution part and also the transportation is outsourced. That is sales order, purchase order, customer invoicing, supplier invoicing, all these are created in the business by design system. However, no inbound or outbound task can be executed in the system and hence there is no control on execution. The 3PL warehouse provider has to take the responsibility for all the topics concerning the execution processes like shipping, receiving, the physical inventory management as well as quality control. One important aspect to note is that after the physical execution happens at the 3PL site, the final inbound and outbound delivery documents are created in the business by design system based on the confirmation communication from the 3PL. This is so that we update the correct inventory levels and carry on with invoicing and financials. The third party logistics scenario supports various processes as is shown on the slide. You have the inbound side, the outbound side, even the inventory changes that we spoke about earlier. You have seen each of these processes in the earlier units or weeks. It is important to note here that the steps in each of these processes always remains the same. The only point is that you would now be working with a 3PL site. For example, in the inbound processing, the purchase order created would be having the ship to location as a 3PL site instead of any other site, but the rest of the steps remain the same as in a procure to pay. So let us look at a third party scenario with the help of sell from stock. A sales order is created in the system with the ship from location as the 3PL site. After ATP check and release from customer demand, this creates an outbound delivery proposal. The outbound delivery proposal release creates a 3PL request which can be configured to send a message to the 3PL provider telling him that now you will have a sales order which needs to be a shipped out, uh, which needs to be shipped out. The focus and execution now shifts to the third party provider side and these steps are carried out outside the business by design system because it is not a part of our system. After the actual physical execution of the shipment and the goods is completed at the warehouse, a message communication back to the business by design system creates the outbound delivery document. The release of this delivery document updates the inventory and also initiates the customer invoicing process. Shall we look at a quick demo in the system? Okay. So before we start with the sales order processing, I like to show you the master data that is set up for this. Like I said, first let me close these materials, I think they will avoid some confusion and yeah. So as I said, the location of the site has to be marked as an externally ma managed warehouse location and this is imperative to be done. 
a communication arrangement has to be set up in between the warehouse provider and the system. So, in this case we have the business partner S100950 who serves as our warehouse provider. The next thing I also want to show is how the business partner itself is set up and it has the role warehouse provider and this is also necessary to be done. Yeah, sorry, okay. One more thing that has to be taken care of is that the, is about the document numbering. Since the outbound and inbound delivery documents are created from outside the system, a numbering pattern has to be maintained for them in the business configuration fine tuning section. You will find it easily if you just mention document numbering in the business configuration. Now let us start with the sales order process and see a sales process for the third party logistics. I will quickly create a sales order, yes sales order and let us add an item which can be sourced from a 3PL site and row. Yes. Let me add some quantity also for the item, okay. It is showing me an ATP red because it is now sourced from Almica which is P1001100. Let us source it from our sorry third party managed warehouse which is P1124. What you need to note is the fulfillment type is still internal and it again signifies the point that this is a site owned by the company only that it is managed by a third party warehouse provider hence the fulfillment type has to be internal. Now if you check the ATP it is green because at this particular 3PL site this material is available. I will quickly go ahead and release this sales order. Okay, so 3073 is the sales order. Let us also take a look at it in the customer demand and release it from there. Fine and release it. Okay, now once it has released, let us move on to the outbound logistics processing. In outbound logistics processing, oops, sorry. This is the common mistake that I did earlier as well. What we have to do is now move to the third party logistics work center. Third party logistics is even more full fledged work center than third party order fulfillment. You can see the inbound, the outbound processing, the inventory management steps, the outbound delivery runs, everything here. So the delivery proposal that we created just now will not show up in the outbound logistics work center, the normal one, but it will show up here. And let us take a look at it, has it reached here? Oh yeah, and there we find it. Now let us create a 3PL request. So this 3PL request would now send an XML communication to the third party warehouse provider asking him to ship out the goods. What I have done is I have simulated a third party tool which can be used as a confirmation from the third party logistics provider. So we have, let us find out the 3PL request ID quickly for this particular request that was created it is 1390 and using that I will create a confirmation in the system. So give me one minute this is the tool and here so you can use any such tool your third party logistics provider might be having different kinds of tools and settings. This is just a demo tool to help understand how it works. So once I execute this it has been accepted. And let us see what has happened in the system, third party logistics and now I go to the outbound deliveries and not released outbound deliveries, okay. So this is the one I created just now and the delivery ID has been created. If you note now the delivery did not get released manually, uh, sorry automatically, this is because there is also a 3PL process settings that you can do in the system which can signify whether a 3PL request can be automatically released, an outbound delivery can be manually or automatically released and other stuff which can be configured here. So this is the other option which is available to you in order to control the system in the third party logistics scenario.